Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and today I want to chat with you guys a little bit about, uh, this is something that I've heard many years ago, I heard Mark Ripto said, and I'm not saying that I'm a fan of everything he says, I want to make that clear, I, I don't always agree with everything uh, he says, although I think his info is pretty good, uh, you know, I think Starting Strength should be a mandatory read, but he kind of said, you know, the, the barbell, the loadable barbell, Right, the right where we think of most people are calling an Olympic bar, what most a lot of us in lifting call a power bar, you know, what I'm using right there is probably the single most important resistance training uh, invention ever. And the reason for that is because of the sheer diversity of it and the fact that technically it is the only tool, real tool, that a strength athlete or anyone would have to have. Like, if you were to come down and say, uh, you know what one tool if you could only have one thing to work with it would be the a loadable barbell and of course the plates that go with it right now granted a rack and a bench would help a hell of a lot too but if you could only use if you only had one piece of equipment could a person get to a very advanced level as a lifter could they get really strong and really jacked with only that piece of equipment and I'm not saying other stuff isn't useful, not saying other tools aren't good. It's like with anything else, having a diverse tool set in your toolbox is always a good thing. Okay, let's, let's be clear there. It's a good thing. But if you only had really barbell exercises, if that was the only piece of equipment you really have, like what you see in this picture right here, a rack, a power bar, and plenty of plates, could virtually anyone get to 99% of their potential off of that if they knew how to use it? And I think the answer is yes. The answer is absolutely yes. And the, there's a lot of reasons for it. Number one, uh, it allows us to load extremely heavy movements and lighter movements. And in, in other words, we can load the biggest, heaviest movements known to man that work the whole body that human beings out there lift 800, 900, and 1,000 pounds on in competitive environments, things like squats and deadlifts. We can load those biggest, heaviest, big full body exercises with it, right? Hey, plus we can do small movements with it. You can train your arms with it. You could train your delts with it. Okay, and particularly the plates, the plates themselves give us extra tools. You guys see me do pullovers and laterals and things with plates, help people curl plates, right? I'm old school. I'm really old school. I remember seeing dudes back in the day in the gym curling plates. Instead of dumbbells, using plates to curl with, because that's some OG stuff right there, who had big arms. Like people are laughing and saying, oh, you mean most kiddies? No, dude, I'm tall. I'm tall guys with 18-inch arms. I have seen men, you know, 25 years ago curling the 25-pound plates for high reps. Like, you know, as they're flat palming them, uh, and then they're doing them in a way to where they can't involve the forearm because of the way they're holding it. Makes it actually really a strict dumbbell curl that they would do standing. Dude used to curl the 25s, or you'd see them put three tens in their hand that way. The really thick dudes could do a pair of 25s in each hand with just like two fingers through it, right? They would curl that stuff, and they'd have big old biceps. Big biceps. I've seen it myself. I've watched, used to watch it, right? That's some old school stuff. But you guys see the point, but you can do barbell curls too, right? It's a foundational exercise. There's, there is no muscle that you can't work with both big big and smaller movements using a loadable barbell. Okay? It allows easy micro-loading because of fractional plates. We can go up in whatever increments we like. And keep in mind, people need to remember, even fractional plates are only really useful if you're maintaining the same reps. If people are just training one rep in reserve, you, you can make 20-pound jumps all the time and never jump less than that. In other words, you can go straight from 315 to 335 your progressive overload you just you're going to lose significant reps but if that's how you're training it's fine like you don't have to have that but you can micro load you have the option and it's easier to micro load with a barbell than it is with dumbbells machines any of this stuff usually well not necessarily machines you can plate load them but a lot of them have smaller increments uh you know their increment jumps are bigger than what you can do with little small plates it's just it's very convenient you just throw small plates on 
if you want to micro load. So you have the ability to incrementally load everything from the empty bar up to a thousand pounds onto that bar with ease. And you can easily find small enough plates to make one pound jumps, you know, half kilogram jumps, whatever you need to do. But it's the sheer diversity, the sheer diversity the tool gives you. The ability to work all these different angles. You know, and even with a rack, someone says, well, blah, blah, blah. you can even make a chin up and a pull up bar. You can just put the hooks higher and hang, hang the bar up and hang off of it. Right? You can do like raises, pull ups, chin ups, whatever, even with just the bar and the rack if you had to. See where we're going with that? You're, you have such a versatility with this piece of equipment. And again, I own other things. So when I say that that's all you need, I'm not saying there's no benefits to other stuff. If you're looking at a reverse hyper over there. You see my glued ham raise right in the edge of the screen. I mean, I have other stuff. I've got dumbbell handles. But I mean, really, I mean, if, if push came to shove, body weight movements, barbells, dumbbells, I can't really envision anyone needing more. Sure, I like things like the reverse hyper. I think cable stuff can have their places. But, I mean, does a person really need more than those things to become an absolute world champion? To just become monstrously big, monstrously strong, proportionate, whatever. No, that's all they really need if they're smart with the application. Okay? You don't get bonus points for finding, you know, the other stuff and using it. And then they can have their place. I don't feel that they have as much muscle potential. They really don't. They're, they're mainly fatigue management tools. Okay. And, and I'll, I'll go so far as to say that a lot of machines really only exist to give you fatigue management wiggle room. They, they have no benefit beyond that. Because some of the bigger movements and the stabilization we've got to do with some barbell can create extra fatigue. And if you're not managing your fatigue and trying to push the absolute limits of volume, sometimes a machine uh, can, can be a little easier on recovery. That's it. That's the, that is literally the only benefit. They don't work any of the muscles harder. So we need to be clear on that. And, and don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that other thing doesn't have benefits. Let me be clear. I'm not saying that's useless. I'm saying that is what their benefit is. But, you know, there's just so much we can do with barbells that if, if we had to, that's all we would ever need. My God, you throw some body weight movements in with it, you're in a fantastic situation really are it is just the most versatile useful tool it is the single greatest resistance training invention of all time it really is mainly because it brings so much to the table out of a single tool it's like the swiss army knife of uh <laughs> of lifting equipment all right guys but that's really all i have to say on that today i hope it's been informative and i'll talk to you guys next time